I'm just prepping my nails. See, I'm getting right into the cuticle area with the block buff. You don't need to go crazy with it. All you're doing here is to remove the shine and any dead skin that is stuck on the nail plate, like around the cuticle there, especially sometimes you can have what we call pterygium, which is just that overgrowth of the skin on the nail plate. And that skin and oil will stop the product from sticking properly. So that's why I'm getting right in here around that cuticle area to prep my nails. Okay. So dust off all the dust. We want a nice squeaky clean surface to work on. And then I'm going to wipe over my nails with isopropyl alcohol to make sure it's dust free, clean and sanitized. Just super quick. Now I'm going to go with my base here. I've got I've decided to go soft pink 44. This is a really popular soft pink. And uh, 182, this beautiful silver glitter. So I'm going to have a play with that. So I'm going to do my first coat. I'm not going all the way to the end of, near the cuticle. I don't want to touch the cuticle. And I've actually left a bit of a gap there. So I'm going to dip that in. And in the next coat, I'll go further down. Now you can do this first coat with the natural set base or you can do it with the color. Now you really want to avoid that touching the cuticle. I've just left a cut about three, four millimeters. You could even leave a bit more. And I'm doing the base really, really thin because if we do the base too thick, that's when you can get little lumps in the product. If you want it, if you get it nice and thin, then there's hardly any filing and you'll get a really nice finish. And when I dip, I'm not just clunking it in there. I'm just going gently on a slight angle to dip it in and then tap off the excess. Let's do my other hand. So this will just protect my nails, stop them from breaking because as you can see my nails are quite thin because I've had different products on them and not always taken them off correctly. So have a look at my video on the correct removal methods and follow those methods. Don't do what I did and let your nails go too long and then they start breaking off and taking your nail with it. So I'm going to do my glitter. I tend to do this, especially when I'm doing clients, if they're having a feature nail, I do the feature nail first. So then I don't forget when I go to do it. Otherwise I just tend to go da 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 da, -da do 10 nails in the same color out of habit. And this time I'm going all the way down and I'm also going down the sides there, turning the nail around, just making sure that I haven't missed any on the sides without touching the skin. Might do another glitter on this one. So see how there's hardly any base on my brush? It's just enough to cover the nail fully, but it's not thick at all. So these nails will still look really natural, even with three or four coats. The other side. Go 
hang a little bit closer. See how I'm just going very gently and slowly so that I don't actually touch the cuticle with the liquid. Because if we go over the cuticle, that can lead to lifting because that's skin and skin and oils repel the product. gonna do another coat now let's just see if the light oh yeah I'll leave the light on mm, flushing okay light stop it okay thank you right so I'm gonna give them a dust with my little unicorn brush. So this coat goes all the way without touching. We want to get as close as we can without actually touching the skin. Sometimes the lighter colors do need an extra coat. You can do two coats, three coats, or even four coats, depending on the color. And then as an optional extra, you can either do another coat or you can go over as a final coat, do a coat of clear, and that will just protect that colour so that when you're filing, the colour doesn't come away. This one's a little bit wonky. Look, I've missed that little bit there, and I actually had a little bit of product still on it that I hadn't removed properly. So I'll probably give this one an extra coat or two. Okay, see, so you can hear that's making a little clicking noise. So that means instead of making a dull noise or no noise, that means that they're dry enough to file. So I st always start off with shaping. So I'm doing these ones kind of a square, but not too square, just a slightly tapered shape. And if you, if you find that they're not quite dry, then I do the shaping bit here and then I come back and by the time I've done the shaping on all 10 nails and come back to file the surface, they should be dry. So now I'm just going to just smooth it out slightly like it's not too bad because I've done it quite thin, but I'm just going to give it a little bit of a smooth, just file it with a... A 180 file is usually enough. If you've got a lot of lumps and bumps, you might need a 100 grit file. I think my client's just arrived. Yep. And I get in around the cuticle there. See how this file is blunt. I've blunted the edges so that it doesn't cut into my skin. And I'm going to go in around the cuticle there and get that really smooth. And if that's really smooth, that will stop it from lifting as well. That'll keep the nails lasting longer and stronger. Uh, they don't need much filing, so I'm just going to shape them, give them a little bit of smoothing off. Just so you've got a nice even surface. And get in around those cuticles. If you get that nice and flush, this bit here, 
if you don't want to have a big ridge if you've got a big ridge it's going to grow out thick around the cuticle it's not going to look nice and it's also going to contribute to lifting so you get a nice smooth cuticle line your nails will last really well Now with the glitter, I've just done two coats, two, three coats of glitter and you could do your final coat as a clear if you want to, but you don't have to because we're going to go over it with the clear anyway, with the clear top coat, top gel. See how these little bits on the side there, I'm just going to get in there and even those up so it's all nice and smooth. Then we're going to go over it with our white block or any colour block just to get it even more smooth, get rid of any scratches. And again, you don't have to go, you know, overboard, just a few little, few seconds of buffing and that's all you need to do. Now at this point, I usually put a cuticle oil on, I use our nail serum for that. And it just gets all that dust from around the cuticles and it also conditions the cuticles and our nail serum is made with essential oils so it smells really nice as well and then I rub that in okay one more step and then we're done so I'm going to get a wipe a lint free wipe and I'm going to go over that with, I've got just isopropyl alcohol, or you can wash your hands. Just make sure all the oil is off. Then we're going to get our activator. We don't need the base anymore, just the activator and the top gel. And the activator is like a nail polish remover consistency. It's very watery. So we put that all over the nail. Be generous with it. Make sure it covers every part of the nail. Okay, now this is the important part. If I go in there and put my top gel straight on that activator while the activator is still wet, it's going to harden my brush because that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to set the glue. So it sets, it sets it before you file it and then it sets it before you put the top gel on so that the top gel will actually dry. So to get around that, this is what we do. You can wait five minutes or the easiest way is to get another clean lint-free wipe or a tissue and just wipe over all of your nails and that's going to get off the excess activator that hasn't dried yet and the rest of the activators penetrated into the nail so you can go over it with your top gel and make it nice and shiny without any issues so thin coats Again, try not to touch the skin. Okay, and see how that's still a little bit sort of um, not that shiny and not that smooth. So we're going to go over it again. We do two coats of the top gel and it's the second coat that really makes it shine. I love that little bit of glitter accent. Okay, and we're all done. Nice and shiny. 
strong nails, healthy nails, and my nails will continue to grow underneath. So if you've got really weak nails that keep on breaking, once you've got the powder on, they'll be protected so they won't break, they won't wear down, and they will grow. And would, you'll just continue to soak it off and put a new colour on every two or three weeks. And it doesn't chip or wear off like normal nail polish does. So that's it. All done. Okay, so if you haven't got your kit yet, just go to nailsonthenet.com.au. If you've got any questions, go to my Facebook page, send me a message, have a look on the website. There's all, all, lots of tutorials, videos, and there's more to come. If there's anything particular you want to know, just ask away and I might make a video about it as well. Okay, have a great day everyone. Thanks for watching.